This next song was written by yours truly. For those of you who don't know what that means, I wrote it. Logan, Logan wrote it. I wrote it. This song is about a certain young man that uh, his many attempts of trying to find a date but his epic failures. This song is called I Stubbed My Toe Looking for Love and it bled a little bit. <laughs> Things aren't looking very good for me. I don't even like sweet tea. What kind of girl would like a guy like me? Just a 5'5", five, five, long-haired, extremely handsome tennis-playing guy like me. I used to be a drummer, but I got out of band. And now all I ever do is write my name in the sand and play guitar at local Valentine banquets. Thanks for having us, by the way. Thank you. <laughs> I want a girl that I can call my own, a girl that I can stay up late on the phone with and talk for hours on end about nothing at all. Yeah, nothing. A girl that I can hang out with and watch movies or go to the mall and just drink smoothies. Hey, you're short! A girl that's not too tall. <laughs> But man, I'm really lonely. I'll tell you what, I don't really need a date, but that's why I brought my friend Nick here. He's gonna help me out. You know, I think I got a girl for you. How about Sarah? You know Sarah. No, I don't want to date Sarah. Okay, okay, okay calm down. Cool. I tell you what, my girlfriend's got a girl. Girl, it should be part of a party. Would you be willing to meet her? I would. What's her name? Uh, her name's like Carrie or something. That's not matter. I know, I know it'll work out. Okay. Carrie, we'll give her a try. In the next verse. So I took my friend's girlfriend's friend on a date and surprisingly enough it went surprisingly great. This time I think I might have a chance. <clears throat> we stood outside the door to her place. I kissed her goodnight and my heart started to race. And it just made me want to dance. The second day her eyes were so blue. We went to the junction and had dinner for two. I got a steak and she had a Shrimp scampi, I think, in the special. I think it might have been special. She got uh, steamed vegetables, too. I think it came with the soup and the salad, but I think she just skipped that on the salad. And she got the salad. She got the salad. As we left the restaurant, she said she liked the food, but at the same time that she thought I was kind of a weird dude, and plus I was too short for her anyway. Too short. She was like seven feet tall. Yeah, you could have told me that. I'm sorry, I forgot. <laughs> I'll tell you what, I'll tell you what. I'll, I'll help you out, man. I'm sorry I messed up then, but I will. I'll find you somebody though. You won't be alone forever, I promise. Alright, I won't be alone forever, so, uh, you got any other girls I can maybe try? Uh, not at the moment. I mean, did you write another verse? I have not another verse prepared. Okay, okay. Well, we'll have to, we'll have to write another song. Maybe next song. Maybe next Valentine's Day. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> All the parents for everything they do for our youth. Youth, let's give a big hand. And also Charles Barther for cooking this right. delicious meal. Yeah. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thanks for having us. You know what? That's a great That's idea. A great idea. We, we have a tip. You just have your tips in the guitar case laying at the run if you're willing. Donations are acceptable. Ma'am? You're not my English teacher anymore. Yes, we got chocolate. Chocolate. That's just as good as money. Almost. In our hearts. In our hearts. Thank you guys. You've been great. You've been really great. We're Nick and Logan. Thank you. Thank you.